So, I have good news and not so exciting news. The good news is I'll be going on a camper van road trip to show you guys the best of what the Gold Coast has to offer. But the not so exciting news, my boss will be joining and not gonna lie, he kinda scares me and is a little awkward. Nice. Hey, I heard that. What the, how did you hear that? See, this is what I'm talking about. Hey, what do you mean? It's gonna be super fun, what? It's gonna be an epic road trip. So let's kick off this adventure by picking up our super cool and very homey camper van and head to the north of Gold Coast at Surfer's Paradise Beach. Known for its surf culture, we had to take a couple surf lessons and it was tricky at first. Ah, uh, this guy wipe out. But after some trial and error, there's no better feeling than finally catching a wave. Yeah, OG! So we're here at the iconic Surfer's Paradise sign where it's very lively, filled with a lot of tourists and people are just enjoying the beach. And uh, there goes Hendrik again. He does this thing where he takes selfies at the iconic landmarks. And here's his picture. I don't get why he does it. Embarrassing. So next we took a ferry and went to an art center to experience the fancy art galleries and exhibitions. It even had this fancy rooftop bar that overlooks the Gold Coast. Speaking of overlooking the Gold Coast, the best place that gave us a breathtaking 360 degree view of the region was at Sky Point Observation Deck. The must selfie for Hendrik. Okay, come on. Come on. As we make our way down south, we stop by this hidden gem night market that had live music and cuisine from all over the world. This place opens only three times a week, so we made sure to plan accordingly. We stayed at this awesome camper van accommodation as it was spacious and located in a picturesque natural setting. Oh, there's no more gas. The eggs are not cool. <laughs> Remember, buy more gas. The location is also conveniently less than 10 minutes away to our next two destinations. Alright, now let's head to the Kirumbin area and my favorite experience here was the wildlife sanctuary where we got to feed the cute lorikeets. And we got up close with other various kinds of adorable animals. There's Hendrik over there speaking to a kangaroo. I don't get it. Inside the sanctuary is also an adventure park where we went through fun and challenging obstacles. As an adrenaline junkie, going on this insanely high zip line was the perfect activity. Okay, I guess there are pricks in traveling with your boss. See? No bad, right? We needed to recharge, so we spent a night here and the beautiful part about doing a camper van road trip is how easy it is to set everything up. After breakfast, we hit the road again and went to our next activity where we rode a speedboat and saw the majestic comeback whales. Right next to this bathhouse is this must-try cafe that uses fresh local and organic ingredients. So now let's head more towards the hinterland of the Gold Coast where we had a unique hands-on experience with an alpaca. Hey, RJ, come, let's take a nice selfie. You know what, Poach? I got this one. Come on, buddy. Since the area is known for its wineries, we had to try wine tasting here at Witch's Falls Winery. Hendrik, I know you got the non-alcoholic side because you're driving. And now that I got the liquid courage, I gotta tell you, I actually enjoyed my time with you. See, I told you that it would be quite fun, right? Are you ready to end tomorrow with a bang? A bang? What do you mean? Alright, not exactly what I had in mind. Obviously, no Gold Coast trip is complete without experiencing the thrilling theme parks. In Dream World, my notable rides were the giant drop and the claw. Dude, that's so good, man. The job's sick. And of course, we needed to see what Movie World was all about since we are big superhero fans. It's raining, but that's not gonna stop us from riding all the rides here. Let's Hello. go! Let's go, let's go, ready! Ah. That Superman ride made me feel alive! That's the best. Yes! Yeah. 
Doing a camper van road trip around the Gold Coast and its surrounds has truly been such a unique and unforgettable experience. But what shocked me is that at the end of it all, I actually enjoyed it with my boss. Hey Hendrik, I gotta be honest man. At first I was super weirded out that it's just the both of us traveling on this Gold Coast camper van road trip. But I gotta say, I actually had fun. See, I told you it would be good. Never doubt your boss. So, how do we end this? Selfie? Selfie. I hope you had the time of your life